It has finally happened. Uber is looking to purchase Postmates, but is this a good thing for drivers or is it a bad thing? Or does it even impact this at all? Well, stick around and find out. What's up everyone? This is Elijah with the Rideshare Guy. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how Uber is looking at potentially buying out Postmates and what that can mean for delivery drivers. Honestly, I'm surprised that this took as long as it did. I mean, a few years ago, me and my friend Travis, who at the time he drove for Postmates exclusively for about four years, he suspected they were going to get bought out by someone. And he did bring up Uber. And I was like, okay, um, I guess we'll just have to see what happens. When you look at the numbers in terms of their competitors and demand, that's actually not too surprising. Last I checked, Postmates was valued by investors at $2.4 billion, and that may seem like a lot, but once again, Google some of these other companies, that's actually pretty small. And as far as I know, they've been open to being bought out for about a year. Of course, in Uber's eyes, this would be nothing but a good thing if they could get them at a good price. They get to eliminate one of their competitors, meaning that they grab that market share, and that alone can actually make it a good deal for them, in addition to the profits that they're generating. Uber definitely sees this as a good play because if they buy out another competitor, that's just less competition and they can take over market share. But how does this affect us, us drivers? Well, this can go one of two ways. It can either go good or bad for us. So let's cover the good first. A good thing that can come out of this, and to some degree is coming out of this now, is that this is just a reaffirmation that food delivery isn't really going anywhere. A lot of people are a little skeptical about these uh, app or gig based companies saying they might they won't be here five years from now just skepticism and that's fair since they're technically innovative but when you see moves like this happening companies buying out these delivery companies well then you can kind of put together that hmm they must see some value in it so they're probably not going anywhere anytime soon and that means there's more money for you and me to take on the table another pro is if you drive for uber and uber eats one thing you can probably attest to, like me personally, is it's just very convenient to switch between the two. So for instance, I would drive for rideshare like in the morning from like 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., then maybe take a short break, then get back on the road at around 10.30 to 2, just switch to deliveries. And I can do all that inside the app, or I can put both of them on at the same time, meaning I can receive Uber and Uber Eats requests. If Uber was to acquire Postmates, I don't know, but Uber being the technology company they are, I see them integrating the app into the Uber app. So that means things can be conveniently switched. And me personally, when it comes to food delivery, I've always had Postmates like as my backup option while Uber Eats was like the main option. So if they were all in the same app, I'd be lying if I didn't say that wouldn't be just a tad bit convenient. Another pro is if there's less competition out there, Uber will likely raise prices. And if they raise prices, that could potentially mean a rate increase for drivers. I say potentially because we know how that goes. It could go both ways. But let's say if it does it result in a rate increase, that could be a rate increase for Uber Eats and Postmates potentially. At the very least, it would increase demand, and that alone has potential to increase earnings for drivers. Another pro from Uber acquiring Postmates is right now, a lot of times when companies are looking at getting bought out, they try and increase their numbers so they increase their uh, workforce, they try and increase their numbers to impress you know, investors or whoever's trying to buy them out. And uh, I suspect that's what's going on with Postmates. So they give them like these bonuses that we talked about in the previous video. And I don't think that's just coincidence. I think the timing is they're trying to get as many drivers as possible on their platform to make them more appealing. And that means they're going to be throwing bonuses out like the ones we've been doing until they get bought out. That means there's more money on the table if you're willing to get out there and drop a Postmates right now. Of course, let's not be naive. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. We got to talk about the potential bad side too. So if Uber requires Postmates, then that's just one less player in the market. And the closer one player gets to being a monopoly, the more they start to treat drivers like, hey, you're expendable. Meaning, hey, we're not going to give you as many bonuses. You know, we might just lower the rates just to increase our margins. A lot of that is subject to happening if they acquire one of their major competitors. To conclude this video, we gotta wonder exactly why would Uber want to acquire Postmates in the first place. It's pretty simple, it's about money. We already know that uh, certain parts of Uber aren't profitable and they're still not profitable as a whole. And if they can acquire a major competitor for a pretty decent price, 
they can take over the profits of that company, maybe figure out a way to make that profitable, and at the very least, they can take out a competitor and they can raise prices on customers maybe later down the line since they have less options. It all depends on if they can get the company at a decent price. But what is your view on all this? I'm real intrigued to hear it in the comments below because me and my friend Travis, we were talking about this happening years ago and now it's happening. Obviously there's potential pros and cons to both sides. Which one do you think is gonna happen though? Which one do you think is gonna happen if Uber does acquire Postmates? You think we'll see the uh, good side happen or the bad side happen? Or we might even see a mix of them, who knows? I'd love to hear it in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It's much appreciated, it helps us out with the YouTube algorithm and be sure to subscribe if you're new. And if you haven't signed up for Postmates yet, you can do so by signing up in the link in the description below and you can take advantage of probably some incentives they're gonna be throwing out pretty soon to make themselves kind of appealing for the potential buyout that can be happening. That's Elijah the Rideshare Guy, signing off. Be safe and profitable, everyone.